Could you imagine if people paid a bajillion dollars for your vomit? Yeah, man, maybe if you were a sperm whale. Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Green. Welcome to D News. Picture this, you're walking along the beach and your dog draws you to this nice sized rock along the beach. It smells horrible and has a strange sort of texture, so you think to yourself, you know what? This is the 21st century. I'ma Google it. And when you do, you find out that it's actually whale vomit. But as if that wasn't good enough news, you then go on to learn that whale vomit is actually worth thousands of dollars per pound. Best news ever. Ever. So this happened to a dude in Lancashire. He found a six pound lump of whale vomit walking along the beach and now he's gonna cash in about 150 G at the bank. This happened a few years ago in Australia too. A couple found a lump and cashed in nearly $300,000. And who is putting down the big bucks on this stinky lump of hardened intestinal slurry? Why, it's perfume companies. Makes total sense, right? No, no it doesn't. Until you learn that the fragrance industry isn't actually after to the whale vomit for the smell. It's for the ability to stick the perfume scent to human flesh. It's a fixative. It helps preserve the perfume blend by slowing its evaporation off of your skin. It has a fancy name too. Ambergris, ambergris, ambergris. I think that's the one. Ambergris comes from sperm whales, which are endangered, which is why ambergris is actually illegal in the US. Out here, we use other synthetic fixatives. It's mostly French perfume companies who stock the natural whale puke. But the French aren't the only ones to prize this stuff. Ancient Egyptians used ambergris for incense, and these days, they use it to scent cigarettes. In the Middle Ages, it was used as a treatment for headaches, and during the Black Death, people believed that carrying around a ball of ambergris protected them from the plague. The pungent smell covered the scent of the air, which is what people thought was causing the plagues. So we've come a long way since the Black Death. So ambergris does serve an important function in our spermy whale friends. The beaks of giant squids have been found embedded within lumps of ambergris, so scientists have theorized that it comes from the whale's intestinal tract to ease the passage of hard, sharp objects that the whale might eat. And although people still call it whale vomit, it's probable that ambergris comes out both ends, with the biggest pieces coming up out through the mouth. Lovely visual, that one. When the whale ejects ambergris into the sea, the amber gray material hardens as it bobs along on the ocean. Sometimes it'll be floating along at sea for years before it's found. And in that time, the salty water gives it a sort of waxy texture. So if you're walking along the beach and you're able to identify some, just remember your friends at D News who told you what was up. So guys, are you less likely to wear French perfume now that you know what's in it? Let me know what you think and we'll be back soon with more D News.